Just feel like it's getting your way, or it's your own way you're reading. You're good. I'm good now. You're good, just like that. Okay, so I just move the way so I my hands. I have only like half, maybe one foot walking. So I'm trying not to touch in too many things and I might spill that, or I might drop it off. All right, deep in the monomer, and you're gonna wipe off your brush and one side. Pick up your beads. You can see that. And you're gonna lay it right there. Clean your brush like deep in the monomer. And you don't want, you wanna wait is the Beads is okay now, it's soft enough, but it's not too dry, not too wet. It's too wet, you dip your brush into the um, paper towel, I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, so you're using it like one bead and you're using a, a belly, the body of brush, and then you can gently flat your brush like parallel with this and spread it out on the side. You can now, you're gonna pick the same size of the bead. You're gonna lay it right next to the first one. Turn it. It's still wet to me right now. Too wet, dab my brush. And using the tip of my brush to guide the beads the way I want it. And then using a belly to kind of flatten it, but it's not too flat. There's so many different ways to do, so many different designs. Sarah did something that's really cool as well with 3D brush. I mean with 3D flowers. And then we'll do that. Another bead, the same bead. And then same side, drop it right there. Still wet. If you feel still wet, you're gonna just tap your brush on the piece of paper. Do another one, you're gonna make this another fun like you can leave. You can using a different colors. It's too wet, just leave it there. We're gonna just dab the brush. Dip in the monomers and Kev, you're gonna draw your You can do the same thing, the same flowers, and then now I'm gonna do either if you wanna do a dress, your crystal here, or you're gonna do another beads. There's so many different ways to doing it. I'm gonna do this one, just smaller beads. 
for the center. Leave it there, it's wet. Dab your brush in the paper towel. And using the tip of the brush, just draw right in the center. This is a simple, it's just a basic um, petal. So if you are start playing with this, I will not stress myself doing this. I didn't know that I can't really like practice like that before. I'm looking it on social media and you're seeing it's all beautiful flower and then you panic, you just make yourself so um, panicked with this uh, flower so then you can't like really this one you can put some beads on it i think it's gonna look so stunning cute and then you can do the same thing with this i will start with that first and then you go from there instead of have so fancy flowers if you do this basic down with this can control your beads from like a powder and liquid is running then you pretty much can do a lot of other designs with 40, uh, I mean 3D too, and then 4D too. I did got the class with 40, is really stunning. Time consuming, just sculpting that 40, um, like you can see it like a flowers. Um, I used to do that, it's like uh, with the 40, I will show you one day, it's really time consuming. But the same clients, like we have a clients even like really enjoy that 3D flowers. And then like pay $15 for that flowers that I do, like 40 as I mean like not 3D, 3D is different, 3D is like you have to have whole nails uh, for dress it up. So you can draw that a little bit softer. You can continue doing this one. Smaller. I think you're still able to see it. Mm -hmm. You see it, okay, using the belly of the brush, just spread it on the side but not too heavy handed just gently you don't want your bead to be too dry and you don't want your bead to be too wet Pick another bead. And again, using the tips. Trust me, if you play with this and practice this, you will get it really, really good. Just don't jump into two colors because I'm almost thinking I'm doing two colors tone of a flowers. But then if you want to do like a 3D 101 together with me, this is the best way to learn it, fastest way. And then when you control your beats and the shape of the flowers, you can pretty much do anything you want. You can do three colors, you can do two colors, you can do even one colors. So pick another bead. And I'm gonna do like half flowers on this one, right? So you're gonna drop it right there, it's still wet for me. So I'm gonna make it just like, just little, 
make it like you feel like you're making a donuts right now. So you just make it easy if you want to understand that way. I always teach myself that it's like you feel like blend this one and then you can using the tip of your brush and draw that in. Do not worry about getting a perfect at first. I would worry about picking up the powders and how to control that instead of getting a perfect flowers. Give yourself at least few time of practice, like you get a few nails like this, and you're gonna see really making a progress if you're doing more than one nails. So do not like feel like uh, discouraged because it's easy gonna like do it up because it take me four years to learn this. Probably I'm being like really slow and I couldn't get it down. Why I couldn't get it? Just because um, I was overwhelming myself with seeing a lot of beautiful nails that I like, you know, see on Instagram, just make you feel like three hours, four hours a set of nails will be like, you can get done in like half an hour. So since I detached me from that thinking, I just focus on doing a basic first then I tend to achieve it faster than it's just overwhelming with a lot of like pictures. So if you're doing it just basically, you see how I'm doing basic one colors. I'd rather you to practice with one color is good and then you move on to the next one instead of have two or three colors and the flower's not gonna turn out the way you expecting it. It might be like stress over it. It's fun to, to sculpting this. Then if you get that uh, simple flowers like this, you can do anything. You can mold pretty much everything. Pick up the same beads on this. This might be too big. I'm gonna do maybe one. Just one because this one is closer to the end here. It's still wet, so leave it alone. Clean your brush, dip back into the monomers. And then I'm gonna make the donut, remember, I wanna make the donut first. However you find the way it is, this way I feel is so fun for me to remember. And then just cut in half the donuts and make it the sort of You can clean it up. There you go. You see that how you're seeing the twist right there? So many different ways. This is the basicest way. And if you, I promise, if you practice, just like that. Do not stretch yourself with like one, two, three colors. I think I did some video, I did two or three colors. It's just a little bit overwhelming, but just do this. I think it looks so gorgeous. And if you decide to do crystals on it, you can absolutely have fun with this, I promise. Just put some petals there. See, if the clients want this, if you want some crystal, you can do some crystal along here. You want me to put some crystal on? I can do some crystal on. So clean your brush and moist it. I love about all our brushes always come with the cap. So whenever I point it and clean and moist my brush with monomers, keep the shape and then I close the cap and then put it down like this. You think, imagine if I don't have the cap on this, all my brush will be trashed by now and I keep having to buy a new one. So we really like, hey, thank you so much, Keja. I'm so glad you like it. It's just so simple and I love to um, do a 40. You don't know how 